Ooh, country balls all gathered outside of a flag shop. Everyone out here getting redesigns. Meanwhile, Peru's thinking how different they'd be if there was a leaf on them. Helloings, so what is you want? Just of something with white. Okay,ns I is of starting. As Palm Ball gets ready to begin with their little pen here. Oops, crash off screen. Tee hee, I is sorry, says Poland. Wait a second, this old green ball now looks more like a Saudi Arabia. So the joke here is referring to the old Libyan flag, which they used for 40 years. It was literally just a green rectangle. There was nothing else. No icons, no other colors, just green. They used it between 1977 and 2011, which is actually 34 years. But when Poland tripped and fell, they accidentally turned this old Libya flag into basically Saudi Arabia. Since I guess the Arabic here can be seen as kind of just like mistaken scribbles. I love the idea of a flag shop in the country ball universe though. Like any ball can just change countries by going to this little barber shop. I like how the two employees are Germany and Poland. Meanwhile, on the wall through the mirror's reflection, we have a weird reference. I don't know, you'd think that Poland wouldn't want to be reminded of that stuff. Seems a little sus, if I do say so. Sometimes mistakes can be made at the flag shop. Israel Cube humming a little tune here. Meanwhile, Hungry rolls up. Hungry, what are you doing? Did you turn them into a Rubik's Cube? I guess that's actually what this is referring to, in fact. It was invented by a Hungarian design teacher named Erno Rubik, hence his last name here. And the fact that the Israel Cube was used in this comic also refers to the fact that there were a lot of Jews in Hungary for most of its history. It's kind of a wombo combo there. That first design of the Rubik's Cube looks so difficult, though. How are you supposed to do it without the colors? Still never been able to solve one of those things, unfortunately. Ooh, the Central European balls. Can we have joined your Western? Euro Club? No, you're too Eastern. Can we have joined your Eastern Euro Group? No, you're too Western. Well then, I think we're Central European. <laughs> Central Europe is such a lie. There is no such thing as Central Europe, says both sides. Ah, uh, Poland, Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia, the vice grad group. They just can't manage to fit in. Sometimes even I feel like I get pushback though when I label them as Central Europe. So that's how you know this comic's pretty real. Sometimes the comments even come from like Poland, Hungary, Czechia themselves. They're like, we're not Central, we're Western. Which interestingly, when you just Google Central Europe, it actually includes Germany, Austria, Switzerland. I mean, this one includes all of the Balkans even. Such a complicated subject. Will we ever figure out where these countries belong. They all out here just trying to fit in. Ah, yes. What a wonderful day to be into dead. Hmm? What's this? Galia's into marriage? Dear Papa Rome, of course for a long time no letter, Papa, but moi needs to tell you something. It may be surprising to hear, but moi is finally getting married. My husband is many responsible guy. He can't into taking care of me. I'd like to invite you to the wedding tonight. Although can't see you, you're always welcome. Oh, that warms my heart. Oh my dear, look how big you've grown. Papa's so proud. Well, uh, no time for crying. Ego must prepare for her wedding. Ah, I cannot wait. Ah, uh, this goes most Rome seems to be real happy. One Rome preparing for his daughter's wedding later. Ah, there it is. Oh boy, I'm gonna finally meet with her husband and parents. I bet they're just as serene and as advanced as me. Meanwhile, bar, says another ghost country ball here. So this is referring to how Rome was not the biggest fans of the Germanic people back in the day. They were constantly fighting with them and they considered them to be barbarians, which is actually why this ghost country ball just says bar. Also, Gallia is basically like modern day France. It was that same region. Once the Romans conquered that too, that was integrated into the empire for a while. It's definitely fair to say that France is like a daughter to Rome in a way. But yeah, in terms of modern times, France and Germany have gotten pretty close, which is pretty strange considering like 2000 years Years ago, they really despise each other. All around the world, that's kind of how a lot of this stuff goes. Old rivals turned into best friends. Let's all split the bills, says the UK. Ungrateful kids. Thank you for coming out, everyone. Watashi will be billed and pay for all the food. Your bill, says China angrily. Meanwhile, cut to how everyone's literally oofed at the dinner table. But many Asian cultures, they don't play around with who gets to pay the bill. Things will literally get really violent. There's literally articles written about how different countries split the bill around the world. Like in China, splitting the bill is actually a relatively new idea. Paying for it is considered honorable and generous. And in Iran, friends will often argue who will cover the restaurant bill. In South Korea, if you're out to dinner with someone older than you, that person will likely cover the dinner bill. Meanwhile, yeah, I have seen sometimes in Western countries it look up. Uh, Maybe somewhat similar to this. Not all the time, though. Like how Singapore literally had to have their own plate over here in the corner. They are just very small. I'm still waiting to see, like, a brawl break out in the middle of a restaurant. Of the solids, mustard, says India. Mustard liquid, says the USA. And finally... <coughs> Why Germany? 
Ah, uh, yes, the many states of mustard, the solid state, the liquid state, and, um, yeah, the one that Germany likes to use during World War One. Their nickname for it, Spicy Wind. She did not realize there was a vegetable called mustard greens, sometimes also called Chinese mustard or Indian mustard. These things actually look beautiful. I feel like I've seen them before, but I'm not sure. There's always that one kid asking about the fourth state, the plasma mustard state. Is that even a thing? There is actually something that pops up when I type in mustard plasma. That's the clear liquid that squirts out of a mustard bottle when you haven't used it in a while. Okay, there's the four. We finally have answers. Well, the war is over and y'all have done some pretty messed up stuff. Time for a complete rebranding of your look underneath those flags. <laughs> I choose pretty bird and yellow to be happy. You had a thing for pretty birds as a no-no, German. Oh well, nice work. Uh, Japan? What changed? Shade of red. But that's the flag that you did. I do nothing. I guess that's a little difference between how these two Axis members decided to deal with their old controversial flags. The Germans went with just something completely different. Nothing even similar to their old WW1 flags or WW2. They like change up the order of the stripes and then threw in this random yellow. Although that yellow, if you look back far enough, isn't that random. Compared to Japan though, um, yeah, they really didn't change it all that much. They kind of just got rid of the stripes but kept the overall circle and, you know, shape and stuff. Oh, but don't forget, they did actually change the color. It was red, now it's more of a crimson red. Or maybe it's actually the opposite, but yeah, they did this back in 1999. What an absolute insane difference. Considering all the really terrible things these past empires did, you know, you would think they'd really want to make their flag as different as possible. Crazy that Japan's still out here like, uh, what do you mean? We didn't do anything. I'm loving that you call Canada your son, but he chooses to follow my American ways. That is a load of bollocks. I'll show you. Celsius or Fair Fahrenheit, says the UK to Canada. Fahrenheit makes no sense to me. Pounds or kilograms? I mostly use pounds. Do you prefer your distance in kilometers or miles? Kilometers, assuredly. What are the names of these delicious potato snacks? It's some fries and a bag of chips. It's... it's disgusting. A monster, a mutt. What are we supposed to do with this thing? I'll get a big jagged rock and you dig the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, they're just in the background. So if you look into how Canada measures things, there really is some sort of weird hybrid between like some US systems as well as some British systems. Canada actually switched from Fahrenheit to Celsius over 40 years ago. But then oftentimes in terms of cooking, Fahrenheit is actually used. And then of course, when it comes to potato snacks, they are similar to the US. They called these fries and these chips lays. I mean, can we really blame them though? The Canadians were under British control up until like less than 100 years ago. They didn't become a completely independent country until 1982, but then at the very same time they've had to deal with us on their southern border, and obviously we Americans are influencing them a lot too. They really have kind of just become a mud over the years, haven't they? This Vatican City ball screaming all sorts of weird words. What is all this heresy, says Italy, and coming from you no less? Return to the past. Be careful what you wish for, Italy, because that might just backfire. Remember that the Vatican City has actually been here for quite some time, meanwhile Italy is way younger. Remember that Italy didn't fully unite until 1871. Meanwhile, Vatican City, or in other words, the Papal States, has been around for a lot longer. Look, they even have the same flag. They looked a lot bigger than just a city back then, of course, though. Italy's definitely just got to be more careful with who they're talking to. Wow, so cool, says this USA ball. I want to live in Korea. Meanwhile, this USA ball actually living in Korea. Nothing here but just really long work hours, it turns out. This USA ball and many other Western balls tend to glorify South Korea and even Japan can be included. All these countries have really bad working conditions, like crazy work weeks. It's not exactly how we might all think of it. Can Xinjiang into independence? No. But of majority Uyghur? No, Chinese. What? Majority Chinese, as they throw more out of this bag. Now all they can do is cry. This is referring to the chaos that is happening to the northwesternmost territory in the country of China. It's been in the news a lot lately since there's a lot of controversy coming from this area. China's definitely got a lot of explaining to do. A tale as old as time. India fact time. Did you know the moon used to be orange? When this guy created the world, he made the moon orange to because India. But evil West was yellous. Why moon is meatball? Wow, India is too perfect. So evil West sent man into moon in 1969 to paint it white. So this is the reason moon is the color it is, according to the US Science Day by this India ball. Glad that we finally got to the bottom of this here in uh, 2022. So this is kind of poking fun at some of the 
India facts you can see online. Some of those Indian facts that might actually not be all that true. They might be uh, maybe twisting the truth a bit. Although there are times where I have seen the moon look very orange. So you never know. There's also something literally called a blood moon. So maybe they're partially correct. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the US did not paint the entire moon white. That's just kind of a hunch. And big thank you to my patrons. Drew's goth girlfriend. Triv44 aka Drew come to crack out Poland next vacation. Twicken, hamster. Drew's Argentinian fat grandpa. Norwal. Twenty dollars is a lot. Drew. Basely, B Wild. Brighton thing. is Carmel the best. DJ McSkillet. Orton five Patrick, six ten. Robert E. Rye the, the Polish Pie. Lithuanian the Mexican seven sixty. And Zany Boy 